Hi guys, welcome to Stefan Eats and uh, in this video, I think we're just gonna do a very easy one of uh, best foods, uh, top 10 foods of uh, 2021. Uh, 2021, a uh, fairly tough year, uh, I'll be honest, uh, you know, we were expecting to be able maybe to travel a little bit more, but I was so lucky to be able to actually uh, leave uh, and do a couple of travel videos, uh, but I think in this video, just for all our Vancouver peeps, I think uh, we're going to stick to the best foods in Vancouver, uh, just because we spent so much of our time here. Anyways, uh, enjoy this video, get ready, top 10 dishes in Vancouver. Here you go, let's go. Okay, first dish has shown up and look how beautiful this is. Absolutely amazing. So you have some king salmon, probably one of my favorite salmons out there in the Pacific with some creamy soba. Uh, you have some uh, salmon ikora on top. And I think there's some uh, yuzu uh, tobiko, if I'm not quite, uh, yeah, I think it's yuzu tobiko. First of all, let's go right into this king salmon right here. Now look at that, look at the way it just flakes apart, oh, the cooking, look at the absolute tenderness, look at the juiciness on that salmon there. I'm going to put a little bit of this ikura on top. Oh, I'm going to try the salmon just by itself. Oh, that's so good, so buttery, so creamy. The salmon is cooked absolutely perfectly. For me, king salmon is the perfect salmon. It's kind of like a mix between the butteriness of, uh, of a really delicious, uh, kind of more Atlantic salmon uh, mixed with the kind of uh, kind of darker flavor of sockeye. That's one of the best king salmons I've had ever. And now one of my favorite dishes maybe in the city has shown up and I'm so excited to show you guys this. Uh, if you haven't tried this dish, I would gladly, I would cross deserts for this dish. This is uh, just very simply steamed chicken in uh, chili sauce and the chili sauce is absolutely to die for. Steamed chicken on the top. Uh, there are some pickled veggies on the bottom if memory serves me right. And oh, I sounded like an Iron Chef there, you know, like the guy in Iron Chef, you know, if memory serves me right. Anyways, moving on. Uh, let's just dig right in. Super beautiful and that sauce. I think it's all about that sauce, but also the softness of the chicken. Look at that, how it just breaks apart. And that skin is so gelatinous, uh, so melty. And of course, it was amazing. I love how the scallions have just stayed on there uh, as just an extra gift uh, to us. And yeah, dip it a little bit more in that chili sauce. And then there you go. Oh, yes, perfect. Oh, I'm already salivating. Wow, yeah, super tender chicken. That skin is just so amazing. It's kind of gelatinous, but gelatinous to a point where it just completely dissolves in your mouth. And then that chili sauce, I don't know what they do to this sauce, but it's complete magic. Sisig, so sisig normally is, is made with different kind of pig parts. And I just had a little bit of a preview on the corner and it's very crunchy, really delicious. So let's try some more. Uh, we're gonna put some uh, lemon on top. And the last one is a really cool dish. Maybe actually a very dark horse dish for me or a dish that's not really appreciated as much. It's called the lime. Uh, I think it's taro leaves and taro leaves are stewed and simmered in a coconut sauce. Uh, so it's taro and coconut. And a look at that, just kind of a gloopy, almost looks like cream spinach. And we're gonna put that on top of some of the rice. And you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of the sisig on there too. Why not? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that is an epic combination. That is amazing. Wow. First of all, just so coconutty, so creamy. Uh, it does literally taste like cream spinach, but on coconut steroids. And then when you mix it with a little bit of a crispy element, like the sisig, and of course that garlic rice on the bottom, that is an epic bite. This one is extremely 
extremely exciting. So these are spot prawns, and first of all, what I love is there are many spot prawns, so uh, yeah, big win for us. Uh, then on top of that, there's pappardelle in the bottom, and then there's uh, some uh, very uh, thinly shaved zucchini, it looks like. This is a foam made from the uh, all the shells, so you get all that seafoody, delicious spot prawn essence. And look at this guy, oh yes, perfect. Oh, should I try, you know what? I'm just gonna try the spot prawn by itself with that sauce. Amazing. First of all, <clears throat> that sauce is just pure joy. So creamy, you get that amazing seafoodiness, uh, and it just, it's so drinkable. I wish this was a soup. I wish I could wake up with this. This could be my morning coffee. And if that's not enough, there's these beautiful, look at these giant pappardelle noodles just swimming in that epic, luxurious sauce. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Zucchini and pappardelle. You might see this dish uh, on the top 10 list at the end of this year. Let's go for this. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, this is a, pretty much a bonfire of, uh, of quail. Just super juicy. I love the way they presented it. And oh, quail, one of my favorite meats. It smells amazing. Those spices just caked on the outside. Yeah, let's just bite into it. Yeah, get that. That's amazing. Quail is pretty much chicken's more flavorful uh, cousin. It's super juicy, lots of intense flavor. That outside is just super well marinated. If you do not get this quail dish here, you're making a big mistake. It's so tender, it's so flavorful, very juicy, perfectly cooked, and just that nice outer layer, uh, nicely kind of charred. And uh, what's cool is obviously those herbs just get onto the outside and those herbs also char uh, with the outside skin. Main star, the TRA burger, this $27 monstrosity. Look at this. This is a Brant Lake Wagyu beef patty uh, with, I think, some Havarti cheese, some cheddar, some pickled onions, or some pancetta. I think this is uh, fried pancetta, the little pepper on top. The Brant Lake Wagyu is actually from Alberta. So it's an Alberta Wagyu. So, yeah, Canadian Wagyu, uh, kind of interesting. And just, yeah, look at how ridiculous this looks. It's super juicy. Look at that juice on the bottom that's just dripped already from the burger and it's just soaking into the bottom bun. I can feel the moisture of the bottom bun already. Wow, okay, look at that juice. So yeah, super juicy, very, very thick patty. There's a beefsteak tomato on the bottom, very, very saucy. And there's just, yeah, there are juices flowing all over my fingers right now. I don't know if you can see, but look at my hands. <laughs> is it worth $27? Hell yeah. Yeah, very, very good. Super melt in your mouth beef. The beef is just super melty, very nicely cooked. Uh, there's a kind of crispy edge to it, but the interior of the beef just disintegrates in your mouth into a buttery goodness. What I really got too was the cheese. I like there's like a giant kind of layer of cheese that just surrounds the beef, and you get that too. It almost reminds me of like a buffalo mozzarella. And then just super saucy, super delicious. Even my fingers are happy. I think the pores of my skin are enjoying this moment, even though they have no taste buds. This first one is really the one that shines through. This is their queso beer taco with the cheese skirt. So as you saw in the video, uh, what they do is they have the queso beer, which is the beef uh, normally inside. Uh, and then what they do is they put a whole bunch of cheese on the grill and then they wrap the tortilla or this cheese becomes another skirt and pretty much wraps around the tortilla. Oh, look at that. And uh, we got different options. We have that. And then we also asked for, uh, they have a really cool option where you add kimchi to it. This might be, these might be some of my favorite things. Look at this absolute masterpiece. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, the Mona Lisa would be proud. Birria is uh, the one that you dip in the consomme. Oh, I am absolutely excited for this. I am overjoyed. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, big bite. <laughs> mm. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, you get just kind of that bite from the cheese skirt, uh, which is nice and kind of caramelized cheese. And the beef is super tender, very greasy, very buttery. And then that consomme, uh, smoky, a little bit salty, uh, some like, yeah, a little bit of like umami flavor in there too. And that kimchi just adds a nice little extra spicy funk to it. I'm gonna say it right now. I think for now, we've tried different quesadillas. I haven't put it on the videos, but this might be my favorite one in the whole city. Open this up here. Oh, oh, this is one of the ones I just wanted to try. So this is actually one I do know about. It is a Lao style sausage. This might be one of the most famous dishes in Laos. Uh, this is called Sai Gok. I'm really sorry, all my pronunciations will be absolutely terrible. What I really see in there are the chilies, the herbs, and of course there's a dipping sauce. Yeah, this is something I've wanted to try for so long. I have been watching a lot of Mark Wiens and, and yeah, uh, this is one of the dishes when he tried, you know, he did that face and he's like so happy and I, I want to I want to have that same mentality and that same feeling when I when I bite into the sausage. The thing that is really exciting though is this chili dip and oh, this looks potentially dangerous. Oh, oh yeah, you can just smell the fresh chilies in there. Oh, this gets me all excited. I'm gonna try it with this chili dip. Okay, that sausage, oh wow. Just gushing with flavor, and just kind of crumbles in your mouth, and then you feel all the herbs in there. Wow, it says maybe propel itself to be one of my favorite sausages already. I wanna say there's definitely some lemongrass in there, potentially, uh, maybe galango, I'm not quite sure. Oh wow, but there's such an herbaceousness coming from it. The chili dip is not as spicy as what I thought. Oh yeah, I think what you're supposed to do is, is you're gonna use some sticky rice, and you're kinda gonna just make a little bit of, yeah. Uh, a dip together, and there you go. Oh, yes. Mm. Wow, get these 100%. This one's really exciting. This is only a special. You have some grano padano, you have fiori latte, you have mozzarella. And then I think the most exciting part are those pistachios on there. Look at the way it's kind of dripping. Oh, and that smoke on there too. Uh, yeah, it's kind of steaming up. And this is probably one that would maybe do well without the chili oil. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a winner. Wow. Pizza Farina, put this on the permanent menu, please. Yes, this is a delicious pizza. That mortadella is just kind of crisped up a little bit with those roasted um, pistachios, and then that cream sauce is just delicious. This salty, nutty goodness. Next dish is the Sarawak curry laksa. Yeah, this is a very regional type of laksa actually coming from the uh, region of Sarawak, which is a, a province or it's actually a state. And it's the uh, state of Malaysia that is actually found on the island of Borneo. The color of the broth, it, it looks incredibly red. It, it almost looks like lava. And look at, that. oh man. So we tried to pour it on the side and I think we did a pretty good job. We didn't ruin the top. And of course, then you see that kind of a creaminess. Yeah, shout out to David. Good job on, on the filming there. You got all that beautiful pouring in. When I bought this car, it had some holes in it in the back, so I think it was a spoiler. Yeah, it's a very good foodie car because you have, uh, yeah, you have chopstick holders now. Once again, uh, very thin noodles, but you can tell by the texture, extremely al dente. Very nice chew on those noodles. And as I bite into it, I will then uh, enjoy this ex incredible explosion of flavor. And I, you know, I'm just really happy. I'm, I can't wait to try the broth at that point. I just know what's about to come. I'm gonna say, this is my favorite laksa in Vancouver now. Uh, wow. <laughs> and of course you grab just that super spongy uh, tofu 
uh, that tofu puff. You just get the really creamy coconut, uh, spicy kind of chili broth. And if you are big into bold spices and flavors, you need to check this place out. This place is delicious. And there you go. Uh, those are the top 10 uh, dishes in Vancouver. really do hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this video. Also, uh, actually, I might come out with another one. Maybe a most unique foods. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see a most unique foods. Uh, I might just uh, throw a little one in there. Just because, you know, these are one of the easier videos to make. You know, just get some old footage, throw it in there, and uh, just uh, make it into a compilation. Thank you so much for joining us. 2021, uh, such a cool year. Also very challenging year, obviously, for many well, I guess for one reason, we all know why. Huge thank you to David uh, just putting up uh, with me uh, through most of these videos. Also, big thanks to my cousins for uh, filming in uh, France. Big thanks to my mom for actually filming me in Spain. <laughs> I know it wasn't easy to do some of those videos. Uh, you know, there were a couple of logistical challenges, but overall, it was very fun to do. And uh, yeah, can't wait uh, for 2022. Uh, super excited. We're going to try to travel a little bit more. We're going to try to uh, maybe do some more Canadian cities. Uh, that was the plan before uh, the big battle came along and kind of uh, slowed things down a little bit. But uh, hopefully in the next couple months uh, we can travel comfortably again a little bit. We'll see. Depends what happens. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, what I really want to do next year is travel more, uh, do some more Canadian content, not just in Vancouver, but maybe other Canadian cities. Uh, and then uh, maybe do some USA too. Maybe USA, Mexico. And uh, we're planning a couple of pretty cool trips. Uh, so hopefully those will come to fruition. It all depends, obviously, on the COVID restrictions of those countries. Really happy uh, new year to everybody. Thank you so much for all our subscribers. Uh, and thank you so much for all the support. Uh, it's really cool to see uh, all the comments, all, all the recommendations, all the people liking our videos. Uh, like I said, if you do enjoy our videos, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. And of course, uh, like the video. Uh, press the little bell icon so we can notify you of future videos and of course hit us up with those comments uh, let us know where you'd like us to go uh, what you'd like us to try and uh, you know we're willing to try anything so um, yeah really excited for 2022 and we'll see you uh, very soon ciao for now